Hi everyone, so for this video I'm going to be doing um, a shopping haul and because recently I went away to London for a week and I should have fin filmed this like a week ago or something but I've been really really busy so I'm filming it now and yeah I'm just going to show you some of the things that I got when I was in London and I have because of how long ago like I got them I have ended up using most of these items before I could film this but I've conveniently put them back in the boxes for the purpose of this video. So yeah, um, I'm going to start with some clothes items first, but if you want to see what I got in London, just keep on watching and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. If you enjoy it. Came up weird. First of all, I got these shorts from Forever 21 and look really big, like on, but the the sizings in London are different to like down here so I don't even have a clue what size these are but they look fine on so that's all that matters and they've got this nice like lace trim around the edge of them and they're just a really nice like light blue colour for the summer and yeah they're really comfy and I like those so I got those. I went to a shop called American Eagle Outfitters and they've only got like a certain amount of them in London and that's it because um, it's like an American brand that's moving into Britain. Two tops in there because the top that I wanted first was £30 and I got to the till and they were like oh that's 9 99 and I was like what the hell it's 30 on the label um, and like everything in the store was in sale so I went and just got like another top and I ended up getting like I got two tops that were supposed to come at £56 or something and I got them both for 24 which is less than the price I was willing to pay for the original one so I thought that was a super good deal. So this is, it's totally creased, it needs irons, just ignore that. But I got this top which is actually an extra small um, and just like around the waist and stuff. It's not like proper see-through but it's more like mesh material and it buttons all the way down the front and has slightly baggier arms and I just really like this top, it's so lightweight as well for the summer and this was the one that was supposed to be 30 but I got it for 9 99 um, and I just really like that um, and then from American Eagle Outfitters as well I got this sort of like little cami vest top and like up close as well it's got the mesh bit, it's got some patterns on it and little gold beads like on there and then at the bottom it's got little tassels which I find is quite cute if you tie it like in a bow so they don't hang down as far but like really like this top as well and I think this one was like supposed to be 24 and I got it for 14 maybe I don't know but um I got that one as well got just a plain old t-shirt from Abercrombie and Fitch and it's this peachy pink colour and it just says Abercrombie and Fitch on it just everyday t-shirt I always get a t-shirt from there every time we go because I love Abercrombie and Fitch t-shirts so much Primark and I was totally like so impressed with this buy but it's this white dress and up close like that's crochet and stuff and it's just a little strappy dress and then it's like sort of like a skater style but it's all just like really light material sorry it's totally brought the light off here we go so yeah, I got that in Primark and it's like elasticated at the back as well so it's quite tight fitting, um, nicely fitted and everything and that was £5 which is crazy, it is crazy. I don't shop in Primark that often because it's not like one of my favourite shops to buy clothes in so when I saw, went in and saw that I was totally like amazed at how cheap that dress was. I start like moving on to makeup and stuff now. Um, so I'm just going to show like I got two pairs of these and like I really would not recommend getting them they're like the worst lashes ever Um suppose the fact that they're only a pound is saying something but these are just the Primark natural look lashes that come with their own adhesive and they just look like that um, and they're a pound they're like they're nice when they're on but they're so difficult to apply because oh crap because the like usually when you pull the lashes off these little bits that they sit on, they stay kind of curled. These ones, they totally don't, the lashes bend, the, the actual band that they're sitting on like totally goes out of shape and you just can't do anything with them at all. I wore them, I got two pairs, wore one one day in London and I went in my changing rooms and just took them off because they looked so bad and they're so uncomfortable, just like 
not recommend getting these, but obviously I'm just showing you just so it's part of the haul. Um, so I also went to Victoria's Secret and I got like some pants and stuff in there, but I'm not gonna like show you the pants that I got. Um, but I also got this Victoria's Secret fragrance mist, and this is in Mango Temptation, and it says mango. Uh, uh, it says mango, nectar, and hibiscus. Um, and it's just in this like pink coloured bottle as you can see I've used quite a bit of it already but honestly it just smells so good it just honestly does just smell like mango in Selfridges in London they've got a Muji store and I've been looking at Muji storage for ages now but it's so expensive to get it imported from America so when I saw that there was one in Selfridges in London I was totally like over the moon so yeah, I got some storage drawers and I got these ones, which is like quite thick, two drawers. I like that's the depth of the drawer and they're like, these ones are interlockable. So I got two of those, but I'm just showing you one because I have, I did put stuff in them already. So these ones were £9, like £9 each for these and just got two to I just got two of them to put my makeup in and they're like full already so I don't know what I'm going to do but I do really like them and like I said I had been looking at them for ages and they're so much cheaper in the UK to buy. Just like makeup wise I went to Charlotte Tilbury. One thing that I really wanted was the Filmstar Bronze and Glow which is like a bronzer slash contour shade and a highlight shade. And it's in this beautiful rose gold packaging. That's what it looks like. I've taken this one out of the box just because the box is not a box. It's so fiddly and like everything. Um, and then inside you've got this giant mirror. But I don't want to blind you. And then inside you've got like the sculpt and the highlight shade. Which is coming up a totally strange colour on camera. So you've got bronze and highlight. And they've actually got such a cute like design on them. Says so sculpt and highlight. And then you've got this mirror. So, um, I also From Charlotte Tilbury, sorry. I also got a colour chameleon. Which is colour morphing eyeshadow pencil. And they've got different ones for like different coloured eyes. And which is better for daytime and nighttime and stuff. Um, so I got the one, like you can choose whatever colour you want though obviously, like if you want one that's for different coloured eyes to you, just bloody, bloody get that. Um, but mine is in the shade Champagne Diamonds which is better for blue eyes but mine are sort of blue green anyway so um, I can kind of get away with any colours. It just says Charlotte Tilbury on the lid and everything and then just inside it's a really champagne gold colour so you can do swatch for you. It's just there. That's what colour it is. It's just really sparkly and shimmery and I like it a lot. So Charlotte Tilbury I got one of the Eyes to Mesmerise Long Lasting Easy Colour. These are basically just like cream eyeshadows and I got mine in the shade Marie Antoinette and they just come in the little like frosted glass. They're just like super heavy. They feel really luxurious and stuff for the price. Um, and so again this is in like a goldy bronze shimmery shade which is good for my eye colour and I've used this, I absolutely love them, they last all day, like I fell asleep with my makeup on the other day and I had these on and like I woke up and it was still there, like that is crazy. And this on the box but I just got a Ingla eyeshadow palette which looks like that, I'm pretty sure you've all seen these before, it's like a frosted lid and then it's like magnetic and you can just slide it off. I got a four colour quad which was £6.50 or something and then I chose four eyeshadows which were £5 each so I got three shimmer shades and a matte shade which I can use for my brows as well which is quite universal so it's good. Um, so yeah I've just got like a shimmery bronze, that one comes out almost like a gold and then that one's like a peachy orangey gold which they're all so nice and I've used them all and they're such good shadows they last all day even if you don't put on a primer which is just what everyone needs. And these are called the Freedom System Palettes, so if you want to get one of these, like, I would recommend it. There. I got the Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation, and mine is in NC15. That's what the foundation looks like. I absolutely love it. It's sort of like, it's definitely a satin finish, but it's quite good because if you've got dry skin and stuff, you can put, like, moisturising primers and stuff on before and it'll look great 
and if you've got really oily skin, obviously like me, it's just good. It's good for every day. <laughs> and I also got the MAC Fluid Line Eyeliner Gel, which is in the shade Dip Down, but I actually got this to do my eyebrows, and it's just this one here, which is just this dark brown colour. So that's that. I got two brushes from MAC, but these have already been used, so just excuse the fact that they're dirty. So I got a MAC 217, eventually, um, probably the last on that bandwagon. And totally after, like the first day I used this to blend one of my Inglot shadows, I was like, what the hell was I doing with my life before having this brush? If you don't have this brush, you need it in your life. It is a MAC 239 brush as well, which is like a flat shader brush just to pack on colour. Last place I went to was Kiko and First of all I got this nail polish that I've got on, but I, it's disappeared off the face of the earth. Then I got a lipstick and this is in the shade 921. Something that bugs me about Kiko is the fact that everything in numbers, not names. So it's like a Barbie pink colour, doesn't really come out that colour on the lips. I'll just swatch it for you. It's quite sheer. So that's that colour. Ugh there, if I can get it to focus, that's that colour there, um, I've not yet used this, I tried it on in the store but I've not used this one. This Colour Sphere Duo Eyeshadow and this is in 208, even if I can get it out of the box. So that just looks like that, like I said it's in the shade 208 and one size really sparkly and glittery. I have used that over the top of my Charlotte Tilbury colour chameleon in that sort of colour and it just adds such like a nice shimmer. And then this colour is a good crease colour, it's like a mauvey purpley brown colour which I, I've been using. Like you can put that all over the lid and it gives enough coverage. Like how much was this? Please tell me. This was on sale and it was £2.80 for two shadows which no, £3 something. But it was on sale anyway, which is still really, really good considering the price of some eyeshadows. Um, and yeah, that's just, it's so good. Then I just got one of their basic ones. I did want to get a palette, like with three colours or something in it, but all of them are completely sold out. Which shows like, how good they are. Um, but this shadow's in the shade 139. And this one was £2, sorry. And this is kind of just like a peachy, gold shimmery colour, which I think would be like beautiful with brown and stuff in the corner and like winged liner and false lashes and stuff like just I'm sold I'm sold for all this stuff like I'm in love with the makeup that I bought in London but that is all I got that's the end of this haul video I'm aware that this video is probably like an hour and a half long but hopefully I can edit it down a bit but yeah if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video Bye!